Oh, right, fella. So first of all, you need to navigate to the search part of your Windows in the center bottom of the screen, and you need to click on the search, and you need to search for NVIDIA. Once you're done typing the NVIDIA, you will see the NVIDIA app. You need to click on this, and once you're right inside, by the way, this is the latest version of the NVIDIA app. You might have different uh, NVIDIA version. I recommend to update it and make sure to watch this video so that you can update it and use all the settings that I do. And first of all, once you're right inside, you need to navigate to the driver in the left navigation of the NVIDIA app. Once you're right inside, you need to click on this drop down and make sure you select the studio driver. And once you're done, make sure you have the latest version of the studio driver installed on your PC because it is optimized for the creative apps and in the creative apps, Vegas Pro is included. So once you're done, you need to navigate to the settings and scroll down until you see the NVIDIA control panel. So you need to click on this open. Oh, let's right, fella. So once you're right inside, first of all, you need to go to the just image settings with preview and you need to select use the advanced 3D image settings. Once you're done, navigate to the bottom right corner of the screen and click on apply. Now you need to go to configure surround physics. It is important if you are gaming along with your editing. The physics settings are important for your gaming. So you can select your processor as a GPU. Do not go with auto select or the CPU. We need GPU. To be used whenever you play games along with the video editing but it is completely optimized for video editing as well as for gaming once you're done navigate to the manage 3d settings now we have two options here global settings and the program settings we need to navigate into the program settings once you're right inside make sure show only programs found on this computer is marked as tick otherwise you will be lost finding the vegas pro once you are done selecting this option you need to click on this drop down and try to find the vegas pro from this list as you can see, I am unable to find it. So I will click on this button add. It will show the list of programs found on my PC and I will find the Vegas Pro from the list. As you can see, this is the Vegas Pro and it is coming from program files. Yes, this is the correct Vegas Pro. So I will click on this and I will click on add selected program. Once you do so, the Vegas Pro will be loaded into the program settings to customize. And if still you are unable to locate it, you simply need to go to add. Now you need to click on browse, navigate to the local disk C where your windows is installed. You need to click on program files. Now you need to find the Vegas. I have two versions here. Right now I will go right inside the 21 and scroll down until you see the Vegas 210. This is the 21 version. And I will click on this and, and make sure it is the application file. This is the exe file. Once you are done, you need to click on open and it will be loaded into the program settings to customize for the GPU acceleration. All right, fellas. So first of all, for the image scaling, you need to go with on and make sure the sharpen is 50%. And if it makes your Vegas Pro kind of bloody, go with 0%. But for now, we can go with 50% and click on OK. For the anitropic filtering, you need to go with 8x. For the anti-aliasing FX AA, you need to go with on and if it makes your Vegas Pro very chopping and lagging or bloody, you can make it as off. But by default, you should keep it as on. For the anti-aliasing gamma correction, make sure it is on. For the anti-aliasing mode, you can go with enhance the application settings. For the anti-aliasing setting, you need to go with 4x. For the anti-aliasing transparency, you need to go with 8x super sample. And if it makes your Vegas Pro bloody or you notice some kind of lag, you can go with 2x. But for now, we can go with 8x. For the background application max frame rate, you need to go with on and make sure it is at its maximum such that 200 FPS. And click on OK. For the CUDA GPUs, make sure it is selected as use these GPUs and you need to click on your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. This is my case. Your case might be different. You need to select your GPU and click on OK. For the CUDA system fallback policy, make sure it is driver default. For low latency mode, make sure it is use global settings that is off. For the max frame rate, again go with on and keep it at its 1000 FPS and click on OK. You can leave the monitor technology. For the multi frame sampled AAMFAA, you can go with on. For the OpenGL GDA compatibility, make sure you select prefer performance. For the OpenGL rendering GPU, this is very important. You need to select your graphics card here. For the power management, mode make sure you select prefer maximum performance you can leave preferred refresh rate for the texture filtering 
you can go with on and for the texture filtering negative LOD bias you can go with clamp for the texture filtering quality make sure it is high performance for the trilinear optimization make sure it is on for threaded optimization it should be on for the triple buffering it should be also on for vertical sync and virtual reality you can ignore these two settings for the Vulkan OpenGL preset method make sure it is preferred layered on DXGI swap chain and once you are done you can go again to the bottom right corner of the screen and uh, click on apply now once you're done let us go right inside the vegas pro and apply the gpu acceleration settings for that you can again go to the search and you can search for vegas pro and this is the vegas pro 21.0 and i will click on this all right fellas so once you're right inside the vegas pro you can navigate to the left top navigation of the vegas pro and you can click on options and once you're right inside the options you can find the preferences at the bottom and you need to click on this and once you are right inside make sure you are in the general and make sure you select this option use gpu processing for aces color management make sure it is on and once you're done you need to go to the video tab next to the general once you're right inside make sure that dynamic ram preview max is allocated at its 75 percent and the maximum number of rendering threads should be 32 for the gpu acceleration of video processing it should be your graphics card which is optimal nvidia geforce gti 1660 ti and once you are done you can go to the bottom and click on apply you can ignore this warning you can click on ok and if your computer slows down you can adjust this dynamic ram preview max according to your needs but i prefer to keep it at its maximum so that maximum ram is allocated to the vegas pro and once you're done you can click on apply and click on ok so now your vegas pro is completely optimized and it will use your gpu while you're rendering or while you're editing in the vegas pro so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day